Taiwanese weightlifter Guo Xingchun made history in Tokyo on Tuesday, winning gold in the women's 59-kilogram event and setting three Olympic records along the way. But her path to Olympic glory has not been an easy ride. Born into an underprivileged household, Guo had to work twice as hard to advance in her sport. Now that she's an international champion, she doesn't think twice about helping out the less fortunate. Finally, we've waited for this gold medal for so long. She finally won it after five years. I'm feeling very emotional because it's been such a long, hard journey. Guo's high school weightlifting coach, Pu Yaling, burst into tears after receiving news of Guo's triumph in Tokyo. She says Guo's road to gold was paved with hardship. The Olympic champion was brought up by a single mother and was a considerate and well-mannered child. When her mother became unable to pay the mortgage, they moved into a laborer's dormitory. As she was growing up, Guo had to work hard to get scholarships for school fees. When she was 15, she came to the National Taidong University Affiliated Physical Education Senior High School. All her expenses, such as tuition fees, registration fees, and even her living expenses and her family's, all of that was covered by athletic scholarships. Guo made her first foray into weightlifting when she was a student at Baosang Junior High School in Taitung. Back then, she thought of lifting only as conditioning exercise for track and field. She also dreamed of becoming a basketball star. All that changed when she competed in weightlifting at the National Games and won a gold medal. That turned a new chapter for the budding athlete. Coach Shang Yi saw it in her, saw her speed when she was playing basketball. She saw that speed and figured that the small girl was capable of explosive strength. So coach got her into weightlifting. After glimpsing raw potential, the coach had Guo get serious about lifting. Now her name is famous across Taiwan. But what's not so well known is how she got that name. She was born with an umbilical cord wrapped around her neck and almost died. Her given name is a pun on lucky to be alive. Under the care of the medical team at the hospital, thanks to their attentive care, she was saved. That's why her name is Guo Xingchun. Her mother said she was a survivor, so she called her Xingchun. The first time she got Olympic prize money, she donated some to our hospital to buy an ambulance. After her trials and tribulations, Guo has now made history. Those who know her say she gives back to society whenever she has a chance. She often goes back to her alma mater. Actually, I got my start in weightlifting at Baosan Junior High. Of course, when I have some time, I come back to my old school. The resources here aren't so good, relatively speaking. So I think Baosang Junior High really needs our help. As a child, Guo sometimes went to bed hungry. Now, as an elite weightlifter, she understands the value of a balanced diet. She says that after retiring from her sport, she wants to open a breakfast shop in Taidong so that local kids can stop by for the most important meal of the day.